Today we're going to have a little short instructional video on putting differential thrust on the Flight Test FT Cruiser if you don't have a computer radio that has that function or capability. And what you're going to need is a transmitter that has dual rates and you're going to need this little guy which is a Turnigy VTEL mixer. See if I can get a little close up on that. It was about four dollars from Hobby King. I also have connected up here is the Orange RX six dollar um, DSM2 uh, receiver, and also I have two Hobby King uh, Super Simple Series 25-30 speed controls in line, and then I have two motors I just had sitting around. They're not matched. They're just two separate motors so we can do this test. Um, I have the um, battery cables connected in are they parallel? Yes, they're parallel. So we have uh, one little 1300 milliamp 3 cell, it doesn't really matter, connected up to one wire which connects to the two speed controls. Now what I did on this VTEL mixture that I felt was a little safer and this was a gamble to begin with to see if, you know, I, I was willing to waste four dollars, see if I could smoke this thing or or it's gonna work and it actually worked. So what I did is I, I disabled one of the power wires from the um, speed control to the VTEL mixer. So you're only getting uh, a small amount of voltage through your VTEL mixer back to your receiver. Now the safer method, I believe, would be to disable both of your power wires going into your VTEL mixer and run a separate um, receiver battery on your receiver because the, the FT Cruiser can handle that extra weight anyway. But uh, just the way I hooked it up, um, it functions fine so far. I haven't tried it in the air, so I'm not sure. And uh, we're going to see how this works. Now what I did on this controller, since I have dual rates, um, like David says, you turn it down to 30% for your ground handling and just basic basic cruising around. So I went in my dual rate setting on here and I'll show you what I did. I went in the function list, went to dual rates, and over here, you can see that, the rudder is turned down 30%. So when I have my dual rate switch on, which for me down is on, uh, I have a rudder control of only 30%, which helps you steer, and I'm sure you guys understand that. So if you want crazy mode, you take your dual rates and you take them off, and you have 100% uh, throw there. So let's see how this works, if it's going to work. Seems like it's given me some fits before. So when you when you fire this thing up, you gotta make sure that both motors are going to work. Okay? Switch on, throttle down, let's plug her in. Now this time, I didn't get both to work. throttle is a little different here, so I'm going to unplug and plug back in. There we go. So you just have to make sure that they both fire up the same time. Okay? So then, now we're on 30% mode. Let's see how it goes here. Differential throttle. That one speeds up. This one slows down and stops. Come back over. This one will speed up. That one slows down. Let's try full throttle and do the same thing. Full throttle. One slows down, one speeds up. And you might not be able to really tell there. Now we'll try it on crazy mode. So it does function, and I'm curious to see what it would do in the air, obviously, and especially once I get matched motors and get it on the plane. But for four dollars, it's worth a try on a plane that you have that's expendable. Um, 
since the Orange RX won't do, at least I haven't got it to do, I've tried every which way possible to do differential thrust. The other older transmitter I have is this Polk's Hobby Tracker 3, and I haven't got it to work on there either. The hard part you're going to find in getting this to work is they don't tell you which one is which on this um, VTEL mixer, which one goes to where. So you're going to have to mess around with which wire is going to where on your receiver and then figuring out which switch to turn around. Let's see if I can figure out which I got here. Um, if you're looking at the VTEL mixer from the top here, um, the very top set of wires is going directly to my throttle and the, the set of wires underneath is going to my rudder. Now if you noticed, or not noticed, on my rudder side I have a Y harness. That way I can run this extra wire to my rudder and still have control. So you're not just having to run uh, two motors for your rudder. You can also use the rudder on your plane. Um, I'll tell you which switches I have reversed here on my Orange RX. That might help too. List. Reverse. I'm oh, sorry. Um, we have the rudder is reversed and the throttle is not reversed. So if that helps you at all to set it up a lot quicker. That is if they set this up the same at the factory with the with the VTEL mixer. So uh, I hope it works for you guys. Um, I'm curious to see how it works out. I'm just glad to have figured that out. So we'll talk to you later and have a good day.